to be recorded in a book or and sometimes the date would pass when you go to the uh, to back to see the chief is another issue you'd have to wait over and over so just to see the chief and again you have a lawyer mr hughes correct yes sir and have you raised this issue with mr hughes that you've been denied family visits no sir and why would you raise that with your lawyer so I don't get to get in contact with my lawyer, sir. So you have, and you don't um, get to get in contact with your lawyer because? So I don't get permission to phones and so, sir. You don't get permission for phones from whom? Mm -hmm. From call from the authority, sir. Well, let's deal with the issue of phones. Almost everyone have a phone in the prison, would you agree? No, sir. I wouldn't agree. You would, you would know, because you've testified that you had knowledge of a number of things, you would know that uh, during seizures or raids in the prison, during searches conducted by the officers, numerous cell phones are seized. So I won't be able to answer that question, sir, because the officer that search is never show you their findings, in, sir. They've never told you what they find or what they see, sir. And 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 that answer that you that answer that you're giving me i'm going to suggest to you that you know much more than that you are aware mr lewis that there's cell phones in the prison you have seen that from inmates i have to ask the question sir i'll ask it differently mr lewis you would agree with me that there are prison phones that you can you can get your phone calls twice a week, correct? When you said prison phone, you just said cell phone. Now you're saying after the when you said Excuse prison me, phone. You just listen to my question, and if you don't understand it, I'm happy to repeat it. You would agree with me that the prison has telephones that inmates can use twice per week to make phone calls outside. Yes, sir. You would also agree with me that the, the phones at the prison, there's special standard operating procedures that govern phone calls between inmates and their lawyers. You would be aware of that? No, sir. You, you, you're not aware that you can make special permission to, uh, a special request to call your lawyer and that wouldn't be withheld by the prison authorities? Ask about the question, sir. Are you aware that you can make a request to call your lawyer and you would be granted that request? Yes, sir. You're aware of that? Yes, sir. You're also aware that numerous inmates on your living unit have cell phones and you can negotiate the use of those cell phones if you don't, do not have one? I'm not aware of that, sir. Now, speaking about your cell phone, where was your cell phone on um, March 3rd of 2016? Refresh the question, sir. Did you have possession of a cell phone on March 3rd of 2016? No, sir. Did you have possession on March 2nd no, of a cell sir. phone? No, sir. Were you part of the um, inmates who were searched on, on, at the material time? Yes, sir. And what was the result of the search of your area? When you say my area, the, my dormitory, sir? No, your area, the immediate area that you resided in. Search, so like I said, we be exit out the building and be put in the case. How can I have seen what was carried out in my area, sir? Did you have any contraband in the area where um, you lived? When you say contraband, what do you mean, sir? Well, did you have any shanks? Shanks? What do you mean a shank, sir? Did you have any weapons? No, sir. Did you have a cell phone? No, sir. Uh, Mr. Peters, I did say that the statements would be available to you. Correction. The testimonies would be available to you. Very well, thank you. Okay. 
Um, while you were there for the uh, two years, were you ever on institutional misconduct charges? As in? Have you ever breached any of the regulations and caused an officer to write you up? No, sir. You mentioned that on the on the day in question of the fire, you awoke with water falling on you, correct? Which one of the fires speaking about, sir? Excuse me? Which one of the fires, sir? Well, um, were you speaking about the March 3rd fire? Will wake me up, sir? Yes. No, sir. What were you, what were you, what was your testimony referring to? When you speak about the fire, what, the what, what wake me up, sir? Yes. The fire was, was outside of the building, sir. Point. And when was that? That was the Tuesday, sir. And what date was that? I think it was the second, sir. Let me ask you this. You mentioned a fire on the second. The second of May. It's the second of March, correct? Yes? I'm confirming your evidence. You mentioned there was a fire on the second of March 2016, correct? They would be which day, sir? The Tuesday that you just spoke of. The day before the big fire where 70 people died. If that assists you. Yes, sir. So the day before the big fire, there was a disturbance at the prison. Yes, sir. The night, sir. Right. So the night there was a disturbance. And the extent of the disturbance um, on that night, uh, tell us about the extent of that disturbance. Um, so like I said, the, after I was sleeping, I was wake up by water. When I wake up, I noticed fire on the outside of the building. And what... Were there any sort of disturbance in your living unit? Yes, sir. The prisoners were shouting outside of the major, sir. And Calling for shouting. justice, delay justice, deny, sir. All right. And um, did you join the disturbance? Yes, sir. And what were you doing? I was also shouting justice, delay justice, deny, and also saying I was beaten by tortured by Mr. Caesar for over four days and at so while I was, I was arrested, sir. Right, and you, so you, you were speaking about an issue with the Guyana police force? Yes, sir. And did you, men did you mention about this torture to your lawyer that you, you're alleging here? Yes, sir. And was there any application brought before the court as far as you know in respect to the allegations that you made? No, sir. Sir, and I also have a medical concern in the beating, sir. No, but just let's focus on, on your allegations against Officer Caesar. Was there, any, was there any application brought before the court, as far as you know, for any remedy in respect to what you say was torture by Michael Caesar? No, sir. Um, are you aware of any um, complaints filed? Did you file a complaint <coughs> with the Police Complaints Authority? Sir, I make complaint. Yes or no? Sir, I make complaint to the station where I was arrested, so nobody took my statement. I'm sorry, they won't take in no report against Mr. Caesar, sir. 
you would be aware that there's a police complaints authority to which you can file complaints if you're abused by a police officer in any way. Yes, anyway. sir. Did you file a complaint so with the I police? I was in prison. I didn't get a chance to file no complaints, sir. You have a lawyer, correct? Yes, sir. And you also have family members on the outside? Yes, sir. Yes. And as far as you're aware, was there any complaint filed with the police complaints authority on your behalf? Not to my knowledge, sir. And why not? I don't know, sir. Now, you mentioned um, Let me ask you this, was there, during the disturbance at the prisons, was there any prisoner who was trying to de-escalate the situation among prisoners? When you say de-escalate, so what you mean, sir? Very well. Uh, was there any persons among your set who was trying to calm the situation down? I can't recall, sir. Did you try to calm the situation down amongst your fellow inmates? No, sir. And why not? So, well, I would suggest you never been in prison. And Mr. Romulus Day would tell you as a prison officer, if you only sanction or say anything against another inmate, you would be chopped up. And all the wards that would come and do is transfer it to another location. And you're talking about the inmate code of silence, where you have to go along to get along. Is that what you're talking about? Even to the prison where them is told you, if you see something, keep your mouth shut. It doesn't concern you. And, Give and nothing, take nothing. And that's the code in the prison. When you say a code, sir. Well, answer. that's your that's the mode in which you operate. That's your sort of standard operating procedures among inmates. I would agree with you, sir. And you would also agree with me that within your dormitory, there are dominant prisoners, one or more, who run that, run that unit. When you say dominant prisoner who run the unit? Well, he's like the boss. He is like the who, boss of the who unit. Who is he? Who is he? One of the inmates among you who is the dominant one or the longest well, serving inmate? Me no such inmate, sir. You really don't know about such inmates? No? Like I said, me no such inmate, sir. Okay. So you're telling me that within your block, everyone is free to do as they wish and there's no inmate <coughs> in that specific living unit that controls what happens in there? Well, actually, sir, it have a, a hardly what would report to the authority regular, sir, always do that side of work, sir. So you have an orderly there? Yes, sir. And you would agree as well that groups of inmates form alliances for any number of reasons? including self-protection. When you said groups, sir, what do you mean, sir? Inmates form themselves into gangs within those living units. When you said gangs? The same concepts. I'm happy to explain what a gang is to you, sir. Um, inmates would form themselves into groups or cliques and they form themselves into those groups or cliques against other inmates in that living unit and outside of that living unit. Not to my knowledge, sir. Excuse me? Not to my knowledge, sir. You, your evidence before this commission is that you are unaware of any gangs or any cliques or any groups 
within your living unit? Yes, sir. And you would say that you're part of no gangs, no cliques, no groups within your living unit? Exactly, sir. And if someone says that you are part of a gang within the prison, you would say that that's absolutely false? I would say they lie, sir. You would say they lie. Let me ask you this. How many Muslim prisoners are in, in that living unit? Three, sir. And do you interact closely with those other two um, Muslim inmates? Yes, sir. You pray together? Yes, sir. You study together? Yes, sir. What else do you do together? Do you sleep within the same area? So it actually is one wide open building, so I would say the same area. Very well. And do you watch each other's back? Backs? When you say watch each other, watch each other's backs, so what do you mean, sir? Do you look out for each other? Yes, sir. And would those inmates defend you against an attack by another inmate? So, well, before you actually go for one of the inmates, it's 52 year old, sir. There's an old man, sir. Really? Yes, sir. You say 52 is an old man? Because he could. Well, don't yeah, tell nice. me what he could do. Just tell, just answer my question. You say 52 is old. Yes, sir. And would you defend him from an attack by another inmate? So I won't. Need yes or no? I won't able to say till the time meet, sir. Why would you? Why wouldn't do, sir? You testified, um, you testified that in some cases you, um, you did not see meat in your food, correct? I did not. We're talking about food now. You said sometimes you saw soya chunks in your food? Yes, sir. And sometimes where the food has meated it, you couldn't really, the meat wasn't quite obvious to you. Yes, sir. Um, you were asked about um, whether or not you were served halal food. Yes, sir. And quite frankly, you, you, have, you never asked the prison authorities whether or not the food was halal, correct? I can't recall, sir. You can't recall or you never did? I can't recall, sir. Did you ever make a specific request to an officer for halal food? No, sir. And you spoke about, um, are, you, are you malnourished in any way? So how would you know if you're malnourished? Sir? Yes or no? Are you malnourished? I'm not telling you to check yourself out. You would know. I don't think so, sir. You're not malnourished. You mentioned that, um, and let me ask you this, have your family ever brought food for you or requested permission to bring food in for you? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the status of that? My family food, sir? Yes. I'm good, sir. You do get uh, meals brought into the prison for you? Yes, sir. And the meat is quite obvious in that food that is brought in for you? I don't eat meat, sir. You don't eat meat? And 
And why would you be looking in the food that was served for meat if you don't eat meat? So the food don't hide and share. You share in front. The food is come, rest down on the table. The old group crowd is gathered around. And inmates is just opening the food right there and passing it so sir to the 